Now, what I'm about to describe is what an accurate blood pressure measurement includes, uh, and you'll see that probably very few of you have had this done. Uh, that even in the best clinical settings, uh, we often don't follow uh, this precisely. So one of the important elements is that the recommendations are to be seated for five minutes in the chair. Um, so that doesn't mean you've just parked in the parking, you're late to your appointment, you're parked in the lot, you race up the elevator, uh, you get there uh, and you uh, take your blood pressure. And that would, uh, all of these findings, by the way, falsely elevate the blood pressure uh, and may, are making you more likely to be called uh, hypertensive uh, than you might be. The arm should be bared and supported. Uh, so having a blood pressure taken with your clothes on uh, is necessary, depending on the physical setting of some uh, offices, uh, but it increases the blood pressure a little bit. Talking is one of my personal favorites, because uh, that will increase your blood pressure. So when the nurse is taking your history at the same time as he or she is taking your blood pressure, that is not an ideal circumstance. Cigarettes may lead your, uh, increase your blood pressure, and coffee in the moment increases your blood pressure, although we'll come back to it, coffee overall is not a risk factor for uh, high blood pressure as a condition. One of the most common errors is a cuff, a blood pressure cuff that's too small. So it's very important that you uh, read the cuff size, uh, and make sure when you uh, place it on that you're following the appropriate circumference uh, to get uh, far enough around your arm. For most adults, uh, certainly most uh, middle-aged and older uh, and young old men um, who have average muscle mass, that, uh, an, a, a small cuff is too small. Uh, and for anyone who's overweight, uh, uh, including about uh, two-thirds of women, uh, a, a small cuff will also be too small. So about half or more than three-quarters of patients need what we call an uh, intermediate size a blood pressure cuff. So one of the things that people make mistakes on is when they purchase machines for home measurements, the cuffs that come with many common machines uh, are too small. Similarly, when you get your blood pressure taken at a health fair, or to a, a pharmacy uh, or a machine, for example. Again, unless there's attention being paid to the size of the cuff, you're at risk of the cuff being too small. Now, the medical students and nursing students and the like are taught to take the blood pressure uh, based on uh, this manual method that we've used for, uh, for forever. Uh, and we uh, block the blood from flowing, and then we slowly release it. Uh, and the first sound that comes through is called uh, the first Karatkov sound, and that represents what we call the systolic blood pressure. So the measurement of your systolic blood pressure is that very first uh, sound. Uh, then we follow, uh, it goes through various other sounds, and when the sound disappears, it's the diastolic blood pressure. So the systolic blood pressure is the top number, the diastolic blood pressure is the lower number. Under ideal practices, uh, even in the same visit, we would want to take multiple uh, readings and we'd want to average them uh, at least several minutes apart. And we would never call someone uh, hypertension based upon a single visit unless it's a hypertensive emergency. Uh, we want to see multiple elevations over time. So there's no rush here unless, again, there's a different condition that we call a hypertensive emergency. But just having a high number uh, is not an emergency. Uh, the hypertensive emergencies are a very, very high number and symptoms or a very, very high number by itself, uh, which is very rare in the United States now. So most of the time, someone will tell you your, your blood pressure is high and that's just a nice observation, but it doesn't necessarily in and of itself mean uh, that you have uh, the, the uh, condition we call hypertension uh, or need treatment. 